folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. Welcome to the Tournament of Champions. Each of you must be excellent players to have made it this far. So congratulations. And now, let's begin our game. Let's do it. Let's see how we do. Let's see if you like these categories. I hope I do. Okay. Road trip. Interesting. Ooh. Earthquakes. That might be a challenger, but we'll see. Okay. 20th century authors. That one might be a challenge, but we'll make do. All right. Animals. That's not too bad. Ooh. The silver screen. Okay. The final category is... You're going to deal with... All right. On the map. The very popular Wheel of Fortune category two. Player one, you start us off. Animals 200. Some think this long-snouted mammal's scientific name, Arictoropus affair, is hard to pronounce. What is an aardvark? That's right. You're still in control of the board, Player One. I'll take uh, Animals for 400, please. In 1918, Roald Amundsen was attacked by one of these large white animals. What is a polar bear? Correct. Pick again. Animals for 600. The smallest British breed, this pony evolved on an island off the north coast of Scotland. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. What is a Shetland pony? Yes! Male lions are the only members of the cat family to have these, and they sometimes turn black as the lion ages. What are... I'll say what are manes. Correct. Pick again. The Asian species of this animal can weigh 11,000 pounds and drinks about 40 gallons of water a day. What is an elephant? Exactly. Okay. Could I have earthquakes for 200, please? In early 2001, L.A. got 14 inches of rain. This city got five inches of rain and a 6.8 jolt to trap people in its space needle. What is Seattle? That's it. I'll take uh, earthquakes for 400. In December 2000, this country felt several small quakes around Popocatépetl. What is Mexico? Correct. Pick again. Earthquake 600. The January 26, 2001 quake centered in this country was felt in Bangladesh, 1,200 miles across the Bay of Bengal. What is India? Correct. Pick again. Earthquake 800. A 1964 quake in this state caused tsunamis as far away as Siberia and Hawaii and California. I'm going to say it was Alaska. Right you are. Earthquakes 1000.
On January 13, 2001, a 7.6 Timbler rocked this tiny Central American nation. A 6.6 .6 quake hit exactly one month later. What is El Salvador? Right, pick again. The one on the map for 200. The Bride, the Boyne, and the Shannon Rivers all traverse this country. What is Ireland? You bet. Absolutely. On the map for 400, please. Santiago is the capital of this country, this Argentina's neighbor. What is Chile? Precisely. Pick On again. Covering about 40,000 square miles, this island nation is the only country between Scotland and Greenland. What is Iceland? Correct. Uh, on the map, right here, please. This Nile River country is immediately south of Egypt and just west of the Red Sea. What is Sudan? Exactly. Uh, on the map, 1,000. You'll find this island country about 60 miles south of Sicily. What is Malta? You bet. Okay. Uh, road trip for 200. A 100 foot tall Coke bottle adorns a mall in front of the MGM Grand Hotel in this city. What is Las Vegas? Oops. Precisely. Pick again. Bowie, California. This type of abandoned town features 170 buildings in a state of arrested decay. What is a ghost town? Precisely. Pick again. A long lit up M marks the Hernando de Soto Bridge that crosses this river at Memphis. What is the Mississippi? Very good. You pick again. In 1946, a chain of convenience stores in Texas adopted this name to reflect the hours they were open. What is 7-Eleven? Very good. You pick again. In 1999, experts at the Smithsonian began work on the conservation of the Star Spangled Banner from this fort. What is Fort McHenry? Correct. Pick again. Let's have the silver screen for 200. Liam Neeson was nominated for an Oscar for playing a man named Oscar in this 1993 film. What is Schindler's List? Right, pick again. Slow screen 400. His son Tony wrote the last film he directed, The Dead. His daughter Angelica starred in it. Who is John Houston? Very good. Okay, I'll take another source screen for 600, please. 1933 film with a line, Oh no, it wasn't the airplanes, it was beauty killed the beast. What is King Kong? Correct. Pick again. Source screen 800. Answer, hey. the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Okay, here's the clue. The 1991 Oscar envelope for best makeup was hand-delivered by Thing from this film. What is the Addams Family? That's correct.
Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep inspired this movie with Harrison Ford as an android hunter. What is Blade Runner? That's five categories I'm knocked in the head and all that's left is 20th century authors. Correct. Can I run it? Well, no, see. Danish writer Peter Hoag had a bestseller about her sense of snow. Who is Snilla? Correct. Pick again. 400. Active as a lawyer from age 21, he used a dictating machine to write his Perry Mason novels. Who is Earl Stanley Gardner? In this Ray Bradbury novel, fireman Guy Montag doesn't put out fires, he starts them. What is Fahrenheit 451? Yes, indeed. Who's left? This Humboldt's gift author won both the Pulitzer and Nobel Prizes in 1976. Right Who is Saul Bellow? That's it. Saul Bellow. Now to complete this round, this British-born author penned Brideshead Revisited. Brideshead Revisited, okay. Let's try it and say who is Ayn Rand? Good guess, but no. no. That's okay. Okay. Who is Evelyn Waugh? That's right. Oh well, so I got one clue wrong and I didn't buzz in on one clue, but that's okay. Okay, that's all for the Jeopardy round. Now we'll take a look at the scores. $27,600 is what I have. Bravo, player one. You're all alone in first place. Now, player two. Name it player three. Let's go on to double Jeopardy. Let's see how I do. Okay, let's get to the double Jeopardy round. Let's get to the categories in Double Jeopardy. They are. Okay. Art supplies. That one won't be a problem. Ooh, okay. On cue. Notice Letter the cue in the quotation marks. Yep, in quotation marks, yep. All right. This and that. That'll be interesting. Hmm. Sports Ooh. with targets. There's a few of them. Okay. Literary second bananas. Huh. The last category is... Okay. American food. Let's begin. You start us off this time, player three. American food for 400. The meat cooked in these pits is generally beef in Texas, but pork in North Carolina. What is a barbecue pit? Exactly. American Food 800. Player one, your turn. One of Elvis Presley's favorite dishes was a sandwich filled with mashed bananas and this butter. What is peanut butter? Hey, you got it. I'll take uh, American Food for 1200. A slice of this bread that comes in a dotted bag can be wadded up smaller than a ping pong ball and bounced. What is Wonder Bread? Correct. Pick again. American food for twelve hundred for sixteen hundred, please. A pioneering jazz composer with the last name Morton shares his nickname with this rich dessert. What is a jelly roll? Hey, you're correct. Oh, jelly roll, okay. Player three, your turn. Literary second bananas for 400. Robinson Crusoe had 24 years of solitude prior to rescuing this daily cannibal and teaching him English. 
was Friday. You bet. Uh, Larry Second Banana Spray Dinner, please. Over to you, player one. Charlie Bates is the boisterous sidekick to this artful Oliver Twist pickpocket. Uh, who is the artful dodger? Very good. Uh, Larry Second Banana Spray Dinner, please. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. Many of the Sherlock Holmes stories are recounted by this physician. Who's Dr. Watson? Precisely. Again. This simple peasant became Don Quixote's squire after being promised an island to rule. Who is such a panza? Very good. You uh, pick again. In Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer says that he and Huck Finn have no dis-slave all his life. Who's Jim? Right. Pick again. Uh, American Food for 2000, please. In Cincinnati, the five-way type of this dish includes spaghetti, cheese, onions, and beans. What is... Pizza. No? Uh, five way type of this, uh... What is, uh, no? Five way type of this includes spaghetti, cheese, onions, and beans. Uh... What is chili? Right you are. Oh, five-way chili. Okay. Player two, it's your turn. That's okay. This and that for 400. In 1983, only 7% of U.S. homes had one of these electronic devices. In 1996, 40%. 18% with modems. What is a computer? That's correct. Uh, this is the free dinner, please. Player one, what'll it be now? This red planet can be visible in the sky all year long. Keep an eye on it if you're worried about invasions. What's Mars? That's right. Uh, this is the October, please. Born February 27, 1980, this first daughter has been named among the widely known Americans of the present. Who is Chelsea Clinton? That's it. Uh, this is up for 16 years, please. According to the U.S. Treasury, as of March 1996, there were 6,046,024,130 of this size dollar bill in circulation. What is a one dollar bill? Well done, yes. Uh, this is that for two thousand, please. Answer: the Daily Double. Okay, I'm not going to go. Player one, please families, make your wager now. I will make a big wager. So I'm going to go for uh, fifty-two thousand, please. Okay, here's the clue. From 1809 to 1817, he was the fourth president of the United States. Who is um, James Madison? You bet. Uh, I'll four, please. A mop, one of these made from camel hair, is used for watercolors. Paintbrush. Right. Pick
Pick again. Uh, arc by frame error, please. It refers to any drawing material in stick form, not just the ones made of wax seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Right. Uh, our photo, please. You may execute your oil painting on a wooden panel or on one of these, a primed heavy fabric. Our canvas. Yes. Uh, let's have our for six here, please. Carrera is an Italian type of this material, popular with sculptors. It's marble. Right, pick again. Uh, our question, that, please. This clear plastic sheet on which a cartoon image is painted sounds like a prisoner's home. What's a cell? Very good. You pick again. Uh, on cube four, please. In the familiar typing exercise, it describes the brown fox who jumps over the lazy dog. Let's quit. Exactly. Uh, I'll keep reading her, please. The first permanent French settlement in North America. Today, it's Canada's largest province. What's Quebec? Precisely. Uh, Pick again. Keep forward, please. In the animated Hunchback of Notre Dame, Tom Hulse was the voice of this character. Right, pick again. Uh, I'll keep it six here, please. This word comes before oats and state in brand names. It's quicker. Correct, pick again. Uh, I'll keep it six here, please. An area of boggy ground or a difficult situation. You bet. Uh, sports are targets for it, please. Close proverbially counts in this sport, but a ringer counts the most. What's horseshoes? Right, pick again. Justin Hewish of the U.S. took a bow when he won a gold in this bow and arrow sport at the 1996 Olympics. Correct. Now a sport that can include a 10,000 foot free fall to a target. The equipment dates back to 1797. Hey, you're correct. You're still in control of the board, player one. This board's center should be five feet eight inches off the tavern floor, and you can stand seven feet nine and a quarter inches away. Those darts. Well done, yes. And in this round, our final answer Bocce, a target sport from this country, is also known as lawn bowls. Bocce. What is Italy? Exactly. Italy, yep. Time for Final Jeopardy. And that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. Splendid work, player one. $136,000 for me, $3,000 Play Final Jeopardy. Now it's time for Final Jeopardy.
Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. <laughs> Historic names. Just so I leave go ahead, make your wager. I'm gonna go for one hundred fourteen thousand dollars in the hopes I can win a quarter million. But if I'm wrong, I'll still have twenty-two thousand dollars. Here is the final Jeopardy answer. We'll root for the two fifty. As a teenager, this dictator tried to get into the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna, but failed twice. Who's Adolf Hitler? And that'll get me a quarter million dollars. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player two, was... You went for... Who was Adolf Hitler? Player two, I see that you like to live dangerously, but you're right. Way to go. Double your money to $6,000. Player three, your question was? You said who was Joseph Stalin. No. Ouch. No. How much did you wager on that? You wagered everything, so you wind up with nothing in this game. Your question, player one, was? I said who's Adolf Hitler. Right you are. And how much did you wager? 114000 for $250,000. So all for the next segment, everybody. You are all to be commended for your play. Congratulations to our big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. And I'll see you all for that next segment coming up right after this commercial. <laughs> Hope you had fun. See you soon.